Well, look at what we have here. It's the school's very own circus freak. Hey there, Pearl. Are you still not down with your ramen? Maybe I could help you out by shoving that food down your other little mouth. <laughs> this encounter was nothing out of the ordinary for Pearl. She was used to getting insults about her appearance on a daily basis, but that doesn't change the fact that the insults were super mean and uncalled for. As far as I know, Pearl never did anything to be treated this way. We used to be quite close, actually, back around the first grade when we used to live next to each other. I wonder what had happened in the time we had drifted apart. Throughout the years, I've heard plenty of rumors about Pearl. Mainly, they were about the scar on her face, which some have decided to call her second mouth, while others believed it to be a creepy third eye. Regardless of what purpose that scar actually served, the rumors seemed to get worse and worse. One day, while I was on my way back home, I heard someone yell out, Stop! in my direction. Before I could turn to see who it was, I was swiftly pulled away from the road. I was more than surprised to see that it was none other than Pearl who saved me from almost being hit by a truck. Oh my god! Thank you for saving me! After that incident, I realized just how much I had missed Pearl and decided then and there that we were going to be friends again. One day while we were on our way back home, I decided to ask Pearl if she had heard some of the rumors that were being spread about her at school. Pearl didn't even flinch when she heard my question and immediately responded by saying, of course I know about the rumors. Don't you know I even got an extra ear just for listening to the school's gossip about me? I stared at Pearl in shock. Did she just say that she had three ears? Just as I was about to ask her, Pearl burst out laughing. <laughs> I actually don't have a third ear, silly. To answer your question, yes, I know about the rumors. But that's all they are. Rumors. Pearl then proceeds to buy an ice cream, like it being bullied wasn't a big deal. Before she taught me a valuable lesson. It wasn't easy at the beginning. When I first heard the insults, I admit, it really got to me. I remember feeling extremely unmotivated to do anything but cry when I first heard the rumors. But then, I thought to myself, why should I give these people any more thought when I doubt they even thought about me for a second once we went our separate ways? That's when I realized I wouldn't give these rumors any more thought than I had to. It's such a waste to spend all my time and energy dwelling on the words of these people when I'd rather just be happy. Pearl said this with such confidence that I couldn't help but admire her for it. So, does this mean you actually have an extra mouth? I asked teasingly. Pearl giggled at the ridiculousness of all the rumors and simply told me the story of how she actually got that infamous scar on her face. Turns out the scar was really small that you can't even notice it. But her dad uses a mouth-shaped band-aid on her face, and now she has a bunch of bullies following her everywhere. We both laughed that day while we walked back home together. Just like how we used to back in the first grade. <laughs>